The man accused of blackmailing the legislator after that night at the Davenport admits the two had sex, but says he never extorted the lawmaker. KXY4's Eric Loney is live in the newsroom tonight. Eric, he wanted to tell his side of the story today, didn't he? He did. Cody Castagna says he's being falsely accused and Richard Curtis is lying to protect himself. Castagna and his attorney held a press conference late this afternoon and they declined to discuss exactly what happened that, that night. They say Castagna has already given a statement to police, but they did say he never threatened the lawmaker. Let's listen to what he had to say. He just wants the world to know that it's not true. He didn't make any threats against that guy, and this is an extremely low-level situation that was blown out of proportion by somebody who's trying to save themselves. Here we go again. I feel like I'm, honestly, I'm being wrongly accused and that the senator is just using his power to take it off of me and put it, I mean, take it off of him and put it on me and get me, you know. What do you want the public to know about this? When you put that he out? has completely changed what actually happened and turned it around for his favor. Now, the police report says Castagna admitted telling Curtis he would tell his wife if he didn't pay, but Castagna said they had a deal and he was owed some money. Castagna's attorney said his client is not guilty of any crime that rises to the level of extortion. And so far, no one has been charged with the crime in this case. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXY4.